Mrs. Salloway here. So I'm going to read you a story that you've probably heard of. It's called Noah's Ark. And it's a, a Christian story. And it's got some lovely, lovely pictures that you can enjoy. And also it's where we learn about the rainbow. Who loves rainbows? I know Mrs. Salloway, she loves seeing a rainbow. Okay, so let's start the story. God was sad, very sad. Everywhere he looked, he saw people making bad choices, hating each other and hurting each other. Oh dear. Making a mess of his beautiful world. I need to start all over again, God decided. It was a sad day. I need to make my world clean again. And that's when he talked to Noah. Noah was not like the rest. He was a good man and God knew it. So God told him to build a boat. A boat big enough to hold Noah, his wife, his three sons and their wives and surprisingly a pair of every animal in the whole world and food enough to feed all of them for a very very long time. Noah's family was surprised when he told them what he was going to do and what God had asked him to do. Noah's neighbours thought it strange of him to build a boat so far from the sea. They laughed at Noah. Ho ho ho! So you think it's going to rain? Who would build a boat in the middle of nowhere? Ho ho ho! They laughed at Noah. It wasn't easy chasing and catching and clearing up after all those animals. All the animals just came to the boat one day. Noah knew that God was getting the boat ready to sail. But there'd been no sign of any rain. But Noah trusted God. Even though Noah didn't really know what the future held, he trusted God that what God had said was the truth. So he built this boat and animals started to come. Two by two, they came into the boat. And as I say, it wasn't easy catching the animals and cleaning up after them. Two of every kind. Noah was a good man and he did what God told him, even when it was hard. At last, they were all tucked safely away in the boat. God shut the door and then, all of a sudden, it started to rain. Wow. It rained for 40 days. It rained for 40 nights. It rained harder than Noah had ever seen it rain before. It rained so hard that the streams and the rivers and even the seas burst their banks and shores and began to flood the whole land. Soon every sandy beach, every rocky path and every patch of muddy earth disappeared beneath the water. Oh dear. And the boat began to float. Everybody was safe in the boat, including all the animals. It floated above the houses, it floated above the trees, it floated above the hills and then above the mountains too. It floated for days and weeks and months and then it stopped. It got stuck at the top of a tall mountain. Noah opened a window to look out. The water was going down, but the world was far from dry. 
So he sent out a dove. And when the dove did not come back, Noah knew that it must have found a dry place to build its nest. And therefore Noah knew that the water must be going down. Come out, God called finally. Come out of the boat. The world is now dry. The world is now clean. And now you and your family and all the animals must have children and fill it full to life again. Hooray! Noah celebrated and he thanked God for saving him and his family. God was so happy too. So he painted the world's first rainbow in the sky to celebrate his clean fresh, wonderful world that he created and to promise that he would never send a flood like that again. So I hope you've enjoyed this story about Noah, Noah's Ark and I just love to see a rainbow in the sky because Christians, you know, we think about rainbows Christians think about rainbows as God's promises to us, that God promised that he would never flood the world again like he did in the days of Noah. So when we see a rainbow, think of some of the promises maybe that you've made to other people and have you kept those promises? Because when we say that we're going to do something, it is important, isn't it, that we do that thing that we've promised to do, that we don't let people down, that we can be a friend that people can rely on, because that's really important in life, isn't it, that we can be the good friend and we can be a trusted friend and we can be somebody who keeps their promises. And just like God in the story of Noah. And also with Noah, um, he had to trust in God, didn't he? When God told him to build a boat. And there was no rain. And there was no sea. Because he built it in the middle of nowhere. There was no sea around. So he did look a little bit silly, didn't he, really? In some ways. But God had told him to do this. And sometimes, this is what Christians believe, God might, you know, say to do something that might seem a bit strange. I'm not saying build a boat, that would be a bit silly, but in everyday life, God sometimes asks us to do things. That's what Christians believe. And it might seem a bit strange. Maybe you get a little feeling that you might need to talk to somebody that you might think, well, maybe they're feeling a bit upset at the moment. And then you think, oh, no, I didn't go and talk to them. Oh, no. But actually, you find out that that person was hurting and that maybe when you got that little nudge in your mind to go and talk to them, maybe you should have done that. So sometimes we should do things, shouldn't we, even though we don't sometimes understand why and again well, this is what this story is about but remember your rainbows and i hope we can see lots of rainbows we come into that time aren't we of year there's a lot more sunshine around and showers april showers so we might see um a lot of rainbows so take care anyway see you soon bye <laughs>